Just under 4 years since its original release, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered is finally launched on August of 12, 2022. Sony has been porting its heavy-hitting exclusives for PC for a while now. The most notable being Horizon Zero Dawn, then Days Gone and God of War 2022. These PC ports have garnered high praise with most titles boasting enhanced features, improved visuals and ultra-wide support among others. For those who haven't had the chance to experience the game in anticipation of a PC release all these years, we can safely say that the wait was for it. Additionally, the game will also run on the Steam Deck or some on-the-go web slinging action. But the very first thing is ported to precision PC features. Porting games is never a straightforward endgame and can often leave a bitter taste in the mouth. Spider-Man's port, however, is as precise as his crime-fighting ability. Right from the onset, you get to customize your graphic settings to best suit your system's capabilities and the performance delivered is nothing short of seamless. The games look spectacular as ever, complemented by unlocked frame rates and support for other technologies including performance boosting NVIDIA DLSS and image quality enhancing NVIDIA DLW Insomniac's impression of New York has never felt more alive. With ray traced reflections and improved shadows, an enhanced and truly visceral visual experience, especially when viewed on an ultra wide monitor. Considering the game was initially launched as a console exclusive, it's worth noting how well it's played on PC. Unlocked frame rates make painting your camera around intense combat sequences smoother with the mouse, while having the option to map controls makes it a more accessible experience of horror. Players often approach PC ports with skepticism as they are wary of how adaptable the gameplay is to different input devices. With this launch, PlayStation Studios seem to have cracked the code to make it a near seamless experience on PC. While playing on a controller is by no means a bad experience and might even be considered the default way to play. The keyboard and the mouse combo option is a pleasant and much needed departure from some of the clunkier PC ports we have seen in the past. Peter Parker packs a punch. Set 8 years into his career as a Spider-Man, Peter Parker is a young research assistant who must balance the pain points of being a secret vigilant with a precarious personal life. Yuri Lowenthal, who voices our beloved hero, does the character justice with phenomenal voice acting that goes goes well with his vigilant persona. Then comes the silky smooth and stylish. Spidey must draw on his quick with fancy gadgetry and smart combat abilities to protect New York and to protect New York in an action-packed adventure that is quite satisfying to behold as it unravels by the mission. Open world traversal is a treat to behold as you quickly master web shooter and web slinging moves that help you get to your next objective quickly. The world is littered with optional activities and side gigs that you can indulge in for a quick break away from the story. While this can get repetitive after a point, they remain fun until the very end and offer a simple path for game completionists. So we come the verdict, uh, which is the final conclusion, whether you have already experienced Peter Parker's adventures on console and are keen on a replay, you are coming in completely blind as a PC game enthusiasts. Spider-Man Remastered has something for everyone, with stunning and enhanced visuals, deeply satisfying gameplay and a compelling storyline. The game remains faithful to comics and delivers an action-adventure experience that one simply cannot miss. This PC port is another feather in the hat for PlayStation Studios and is on course to reward them with a bump in sales for the franchise. While it is on the price share side, it is worth investing which is available for just 3,999 rupees in Indian currency at the launch. So what do you think? Let me know in this comment section down below what do you think about this game? Are you gonna play it or have you already started playing? And I will get back to you in the comment section down below. So guys that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and I will see you in this next video. Till then. Take care and keep watching.